We explored the market in Sianokville in the morning. It was enormous, full of everything from fruit and vegetables to buckets of seafood to hardware. We visited the Buddhist temple of Wat Lao with its amazing views of the city. The golden colored temple with its thatched roofs and traditional design resembles the pagodas. I got chased by a dragon and then we went to a Cambodian school. The children were immaculate in their uniforms. They sang a song for us. They were well rehearsed and not at all shy. Afterwards, we were given the opportunity to donate their education. Sianokville is renowned for its palm fringe beaches and has some great resorts. We had a lovely walk by the ocean on the white sands. There was a buffet down by the sea and some entertainment and there was a welcome breeze and a chilled, relaxed atmosphere. Sianokville is Cambodia's premier beach location, and if you stay there, you can visit its islands offshore. The hotel buffet was available for tourists, as well as for hotel residents. But to be honest, we were too full up from our lunch on the cruise ship. The hotel accommodation is luxurious, and the bungalows and the sea look very inviting. Wish we could have stayed longer. This is our fourth stop, Tallinn in Estonia. The tower is 258 steps high, so if you're energetic, here I go. I don't know how far off I am, but I'm having a rest. Local hairdressers. Now we're in the town square. It's a great place to stop and have a snack. It caters for all tastes. There's an Indian restaurant behind me. There's old Estonian food. There's pizzerias. In fact, we've just been offered an elk sandwich. This man was obviously from the wall. 